Hey guys, today I will show you how to enable a grayscale mode on your device with AMOLED screens to save some more battery life when it's on a critical level of 15%. Some Samsung phones have a feature which turns the screen black and white while the battery is on a critical level. This takes advantage of the AMOLED display because unlike IPS displays, AMOLED screens do not have a backlight, which means no battery is used when a device is showing the color black. It simply turns off those pixels, making them look black, thus saving a battery life. So if you own a device with an AMOLED display, this same principle holds true, and today I will show you how to get an extra use out of your AMOLED display. If you are not sure your device has an AMOLED screen or no, try googling it first and looking in the specification sheet of your phone. Or just simply leave a comment right below that like button and I will quickly answer you. This app that I'm about to show you works at the GPU level. So there aren't any overlays or unnecessary background services involved to drain your battery and slow down your phone. Even better, it automatically kicks in when a low battery warning shows up on your device. So all you need to do is to get on with this tutorial and enjoy the awesome feature. The app is appropriately named Monochrome. You can search it by the name in a Play Store or just follow the download link in the description of this video. So go ahead and install it with the step 1 of this tutorial. In this step, I gotta inform you that there are two ways of handling this app. If you are a rooted user, all you have to do after installing the app from Play Store is open it, then tap Grant on the Super User Access Request. Done. You are ready to use the app already. Otherwise, non rooted users we'll have to execute a single ADB command before running the app. So make sure you have ADB configured on your computer. And if you don't know what is ADB and how to set it up on your computer, I made a very nice and easy tutorial about it, which will explain you exactly how to do it. I'm going to leave a link for that tutorial in the description of this video for you to learn the ways of ADB. And once you are done with ADB setup, come back here and continue this tutorial. So for those of you who already have the ADB setup on their computers, or if you have already finished watching my tutorial about it, connect your device to your computer, then open ADB command prompt window while holding the shift key on your keyboard and right clicking in a free area and type the following command then press enter i will leave this command in the description of this video as a text as well so all you have to do is just copy it and paste it there at this point the rest of the setup is incredibly simple just open the monochrome app then enable the feature is the only switch in the middle of the screen as the app informs you, grayscale mode will automatically kick in when your device battery hits the official low threshold, which is usually at 15% on most of the devices. So basically when you have a 15% battery left, your screen will turn black and white. I will now demonstrate it on my device so you can see how it looks like in action and what to expect. So you can see, at this point, everything is black and white, and it will remain so until you put your device on a charger or until your battery is back above the official low threshold, which is 15% in my case. When that happens, full color will return automatically. So it's a seamless transition. If there are any issues with the phone switching from black and white back to colorful, don't worry, it's nothing critical, I will show you how to switch it back manually. 
For that, you will just need to go into your settings, then developer settings, and there find the section called simulate color space. Open it and choose disable. That's it. Your colors are back. And now you know exactly what the monochrome app does. It basically automates the switch from disable to monochrome and back. For today, this is it guys. Let me know if you have any questions, but if you like the video, then like it. Thank you and have a nice day.